Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Liverpool Career Mode Episode 3. If you missed it last time in the month of September, we played six games. Or we were actually eliminated from the Carabao Cup. We simulated that one. We're only worried about the FA Cup. A big 5-2 win over Leicester. We then played Tottenham on the road. We lost 2-1 to Tottenham. Uh, we then traveled to Paris Saint-Germain and scored two goals in the first 10 minutes in a 3-0 victory. Traveled us, uh, we played Southampton at home, beat them 2-0. We were eliminated on penalties against Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. And then we proceeded to draw 0-0 with Chelsea on the road, except the result for me. So now we set up the month of October. That's what you guys are going to see in this episode. It's going to be the first game against Napoli uh, in the group stage, I believe, on the road. Uh, then we're going to, I believe, play Manchester City at home in a big top-of-the-table clash. Have that next week off, and it'll be Huddersfield away. It'll be Arebo in the UEFA Champions League group stage, and then it will be Cardiff City to round out the month of October. Now, like I said, I changed the half lengths to six minutes. I want to give you guys more action-packed content and more content and a uh, shorter video. So that was my plan, shorten the halves by two minutes. Still playing on the same sliders. So without further ado, I want to get into it. But, oh, uh, first, uh, Liverpool being a Fenway sports group own team and a rock the Red Sox hat and uh, just be nice to see another Boston own team win championships like the Premier League title and UEFA Champions League uh if they were able to take home another Champions League trophy or a Premier League title it'd be outstanding uh the recent result against Bayern I would have liked to have seen a couple goal or at least one or two goals at home but the positive is they didn't allow an away goal from Bayern so any so they can draw if they are to score on the road against Bayern and just, and just say draw 1-1 or draw 2-2 it is, they will win on away goals aggregate, which is the big thing. So, not the worst result, not the best, but certainly not the worst. There are plenty of positives to pull from it. But I want to get at this game against Napoli and get this episode kicked off for you guys. We have the squad at full fitness. It might be, J I, I might slide in James Miller right back. I am not too positive yet, but I'll decide in the pregame menu. Uh, everybody's going to be at full health, I believe. Everybody's going to be fully fit. So, yep, yeah, no, we're basically just going to roll with the team as is. The Super Sub Alex Oxlade Chamberlain will certainly check on at some point. But we're going to get right into this one against Napoli. Van Dyke captaining the Liverpool side here in Italy. And we are off. Um, and then he'll, it'll be cleared away and intercepted. Fabino on it now. Fabino tries to play it back. It's already turned over to Callahan, and it's a big save from Becker. Sloppy play from Liverpool off the bat. Insigne plays a zero. Let's get back to Insigne. It's a big save by Becker. Van Dyke can't get a hold of it. And it'll roll out for a corner. Mertens now sliding down the wing. Van, he's beat Van Dyke to the inside. Fabino steps in front of it, but he'll still rip a shot off, and Becker will make another save. Zielinski set to throw it in as he'll throw it all the way back to Fabian Gulam, who will play to the middle to Kula Bali. Still up. Napoli a lot of men forward. Gulam now cutting towards the middle. Shakiri on him. It's going to be played into Insigne and it's already in. And an awful start from Liverpool leads to a Napoli 1-0 lead. And the Liverpool target finds the back of the net. Knocked away by Keita. It's played up to Firmino who hopes to at least. And a tackle from behind. A hard tackle for Merrick Hemschick. And this one could be an interesting call. And it's an early yellow for Hemschick. He was able to fend off a Napoli defender there. Firmino now on it. Four to Firmino. Salah. Salah's going to play it back to Firmino. And Liverpool with their first chance of the game finding the back of the net. And just like that, that's how Liverpool can do it with a sudden burst, an explosive move coming off of the bad slide tackle from Hamschick, the man with the armband. Causing some dysfunction in the Napoli side. And it leads to this Liverpool goal. Salah to Firmino. The number nine. Wearing number nine. Finds the back of the net with a weaker foot. And Liverpool equalized just like that. Shakiri plays it on to Fabino in the midfield. Now Keita on it. A lot of space for Robertson here. Robertson's going to send Mane forward. A lot of space to run. Mane plays in in front, but Albiol able to knock it away. Swung in, looking for Virgil van Dijk. 
It's a goal line saved by the Napoli defender there. It's going to fall to Shakiri at the top of the box. Keita with a lot of space, but intercepted by Kelahun. So Liverpool have been able to finally calm it down and take control of this one. Up to Fabino now. Down the side to Alexander Arnold. Alexander Arnold holds up play in front of Firmino on the left foot. And a tough tackle there. No penalty to be given. And the shot from Firmino saved. Fabinho. Firmino now on it. He's going to send it to Mane. He's got some space and some pace down the wing. Mane cuts it back. Going to send it across. And it's not going to find Firmino. It's going to be behind him. And that is the halftime whistle as we enter halftime tied 1-1. A very difficult start for us. Started off playing very, very poor football. But the last four, the last 25 were very, very productive. Firmino got us on the board. Really one of our, with, with our best chance being our really only chance that we've really, you know, scored on. Only really, you know, capitalized on. So hoping for a more consistent and a better start to the second half. And I think we can pull ahead 2-1 and hold on here away. So Salah set to kick it off here. Liverpool starting the ball in the second half after a rough start to the beginning of the first half. Robertson now. Robertson going to send it forward to Mane. He's got some space. Mane cutting in. Mane is going to play it to Salah. And it's tackled away. Fabino on it now. Shakiri through. And he's on. Shakiri playing the F Firmino. Back to Keita. Keita creating some space on that left side. Back to Robertson. Robertson sends it in for to Salah. And oh, what an audacious attempt from Mohamed Salah. Was able to square the defender off with his body and get a wonderful volleyed effort at goal just wide. Insigne now, the Liverpool target, is going to send it on to the link to Callahan, who sends it across. Allison Becker able to knock it away. Now it's on to Mane. Mane sends it through to... Andrew Robertson, who's going to send it across goal on the ground, but cleared away by Kula Bali. So I'm going to make a substitution real quick. We're going to bring on Alex Oxide Chamberlain on the link for Jordan and Shakiri, the super sub. And I'm going to bring on Genie Wijnaldum for Navi Keita. Maybe a little more creativity in that midfield than we've already seen. Liverpool progressing forward pretty quickly here. Now to Fabino in the midfield. On to Oxide Chamberlain. Oxide Chamberlain through to Firmino. Firmino's going to try it, and it's deflected. And he's going to fall for a corner. This one will be taken normally by Alexander Arnold as he swings it in. Finding Mo Salah. Out jumping, I believe it was Insigne. Insigne only 5-4. But unable to find the back of the net even though he won the header. Now a couple of deflections in the midfield. Napoli find themselves on it. Zielinski sending it forward to Lorenzo Insigne. Insigne sends it across. Allison makes easy work of it. Robertson plays at the Fabino in the middle of the field. Now to Wijnaldum. Salah on it now. Trying to get it on his left foot. Not a lot of space. Firmino sends it. Oxlade Chamberlain on the left foot. And Liverpool go ahead. Oxlade Chamberlain gets it onto the weaker foot. And bangs it home with the left. That's what we like to see. Let's go. It's worked so well for us, and Oxley chamberlain has been such a villain from that right side. But a quick start from Napoli, and headed home! And I've just coughed it up. I, I, I literally, I'm too busy talking, and I'm not busy enough playing, and I've coughed it up. Napoli have equalized. Why now them trying to knock it away, but that might have been Liverpool's last opportunity there, as Napoli get it forward now. Napoli sending it across. Oxley chamberlain on it. Headed forward to Salah. It's knocked away. Gulam now on it. It's going to be played to Alon Verde, the man who equalized Monopoly. And disaster for Liverpool at the end as they pulled ahead 2-1 and then coughed it up moments later. Right off of kickoff. So not a great draw there. So this is definitely a big test for us. Manchester City trying to break into that early top four. We're trying to hold on to our top of the table run. So, I mean, got to come at this one with some fire. I'm pretty much going to run the same side. I think I'm going to check Oxlade-Chamberlain in onto that right wing side. 
So I've decided to do two things different than that. I, I brought Oxlade Chamberlain on the right. He's been playing so well. But I've also decided to run Wijnaldum at center mid over Fabino to see how that partnership between him and Keita works. And if we can start dropping Fabino to center back and rotating him with Lover and Matt Tip back there. Definitely an interesting way of looking at it. But this is the side we're going to run. I'm going to see if I can make this work here at Anfield. Huge game. Let's get it. So Salah kicks it off for Liverpool. And here we go. Played back to Van Dyke. Why now them getting the start in the midfield for Fabino, like I said, now on the wing to Chamberlain. It's going to take a deflection, but still fall to Firmino. And they're going to slow play down in the midfield. Keita swings it down the wing to Mane, using some footwork to create some space. Now to Oxlade Chamberlain. Quickly up to Keita. Keita tries to get a cross off, but it catches a deflection. Good defending there from Man City. An early corner opportunity for Liverpool. Oxlade Chamberlain set the swing it in, and Edison has to come out and make that save. Lovren playing it back in that wing to Oxlade Chamberlain with some footwork. Swings in the cross back post to Salah. It's ball the front end for Mino off the deflection. Edison unable to handle that, and flying out of the gates is Liverpool Football Club. And who else but setting it up? Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Continues to impress. Ederson unable to hold on to it. The defense unable to clear it. And Firmino puts the rebounded effort from Salah home. His fourth Premier League goal. And we're off to a red hot start here at Anfield. Falls to David Silva. And now on to Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne plays the Aguero. And now De Bruyne and Manchester City have viciously cut back into this one. Coughing up the early goal and have now really just jumped right back into this one. Not even letting Liverpool get a sniff in the time being. So we'll see how Liverpool respond now at Anfield. Robertson now a lot of space for Mane to cut it from that side. In front, header, Salah, and it's connected with and finds the back of the net. Sadio Mane's pass, I believe, took a deflection and route to still Mane, uh, Mohamed Salah, finding it on his head. Yes, it's popped up by the deflection. Salah still able to get enough juice on it to find the bottom right of the net. And Liverpool pull ahead 2-1. Keita trying to knock it away, which he does. The deflection falls to Mahrez still. Aguero on it. A ball roll out in front. David Silva, terrific save from Allison Becker. Halftime approaching Manchester City trying to desperately equalize here at Anfield and they've played very well early on De Bruyne with another terrific shot from the top of the box this time with his left foot It's deflected away by Becker It falls back in the box now Liverpool unable to clear it in the halftime whistle We lead 2-1 at the break here at Anfield in a monumental Barclays Premier League matchup. So Man City set to kick off the second half. Gundogan has checked on for David Silva. And Man City hoping that that can be the spark that they need in the midfield to get back into this one. Mara is sending in the cross. Lovren lightly plays the Keita, but it's turned over to Fernandinho. He rips off a shot very wide of the mark. On the wing, quick to Robertson, drags it back, and he'll play it back to Dayan Lovren, and Liverpool slow it up. So now on the midfield to Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum plays the Chamberlain. Alexander Arnold down the wing, sends it across. Mane, what a save from Edison! Denied. Fernandinho plays with the Bernardo, a lot of space, and Manchester City equalize. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Aguero finding the back of the net. Who else but Sergio Aguero and Liverpool again have their word cut out for them. It is cleared away and I'm set to make another substitution. So Mane is going to check off. It's going to be Salah who's going to take over on that left wing. I'm going to bring on Danny Sturridge up top, the jersey that I am wearing right now. And I think I'm going to leave it as is and wait until maybe late to bring on the next defender or something of the like if we can pull ahead here. So we're going to have Sturridge check on. Salah is going to play in that left wing. To Firmino. 
Firmino's going to play it forward to Oxlade. Chamberlain off the post. He beats Ederson, but cannot beat the goal frame itself. A lot of space down that right side for Kyle Walker. He plays it forward to Ilkay Gundogan, who plays it now back to Kyle Walker. Gundogan on it once again. Gundogan down the right side has swung it across. Gabby Jesus heads home and Man City pull ahead. You suck, you jackass. Oh, no. Oh, no, boys. Plus three added minutes. Four to Sturridge. Knocked away from Sturridge. Sturridge still on. Firmino now plays the Salah. And knocked away and cleared. Liverpool blow it at Anfield to Manchester City. So, boys, definitely a tough loss to take at home. That late goal, I felt it coming. A hot, hot start. But we were unable to hold on once again. Might have been lacking Fabino in that midfield. Unfortunate. A lot of chances. A lot of chances we missed. Certainly an exciting match, but I... I we, we, we do need more, and especially at home, and I'm not sure where that sets us up in the table now. So we'll see once we load back in. I believe we have Huddersfield next to get back, and we have dropped to second. Manchester United have pulled ahead to the top of the table, but only sitting one point by Manchester United this game against Huddersfield coming up, which is a big one. So we, we're going to travel to Huddersfield. I like the team we got set up now. In hindsight, probably should have let Fabino get in there. But we'll live with it. This is a huge one against Huddersfield. So we've switched it up and we've let Matip get some run in there at center back. We're going to see what he can bring to the team. Maybe we can hold it down better and hold on to some leads better. So, like I said, we're just going to run with the ones as usual. I've liked the way Wijnaldum's played. I like bringing him and Oxide chamberlain in as subs. But this is our best team we can run right now. And, I, I mean, aside from maybe what Lever and Matip can do differently... And if not, Joe Gomez will give him a run. But I want to be able to start holding on to these leads because we've been coughing them up way too easily. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So we travel away to the newly promoted side, Huddersfield, with a lot on the line. N cannot slip up by any means here. Need to rebound from that tough Man City loss at home and come here and pound Huddersfield into submission. So, Huddersfield, kick it off. Not very familiar with any of the players at all. So, quick little one-two here. Huddersfield threatening Eric Derm, the former Borussia Dortmund defender, as it sent in a wonderful cross. From Eric Derm on his left foot. It's going to be sent forward to Mune. Unable to find the back of the net, and Allison will play it out short to Andrew Robertson as Liverpool will work from their own end. Now forward Roberto Firmino. Firmino playing it back to Alexander Arnold, who sends a cross in, finding Salah, but Lussell able to make the save. Keith okay, had been a pleasant surprise here early in Liverpool's season as the new signing. Forward to Salah, back to Firmino. Gonna try and play it to the back to Mane and Durham will awkwardly clear that away. Now to Shakiri. Shakiri on. Shakiri cutting inside. Great footwork. Now it's on the Salah. S Salah on the left foot and he's finished it. Mo Salah eyeing that golden boot once again and he finishes here early with some wonderful footwork. Goes on the left foot, beats Lossel. Good build-up play in the box there from Jordan and Shaqiri. And Mo Salah puts Liverpool ahead 1-0 against Huddersfield. And knocked away by the Huddersfield back line as this one set forward to Deporte and Virgil van Dijk using his abundance of strength to protect the ball from him. But now it's fallen back to Huddersfield in front and hit very, very wide by Mui. Mui? Mui. Def, that name def, that, that name's got me in a pretzel right now. No clue how to pronounce that. I'll have to look that one up. Absolutely no clue. Mane, but Hogue steps in, then deflected again by Mane. Liverpool back on it, pressuring, pressuring this Huddersfield back line. Salah takes it on his left, and oh, what a goal! Mohamed Salah with his second of the game. 
And this one, nowhere near as easy as the first one, as he's able to bend in a beautiful effort on his left foot from outside the top of the box, as we'll see it again here. Mo Salah cutting away, takes the dribble back and decides to just swing that in on his left foot on his own and take it on, and that is his second goal of the day. Mo Salah with an absolutely beautiful goal to get us ahead 2-0, but we need more. With already two goals in this one, Salah on it once again. Salah striving for his third goal. Salah cutting it back now. Salah in the box. It's going to fall away and Schindler clears it and that is the halftime whistle. Salah trying to go on a wonder goal solo run. But he already has two in this one as Liverpool lead 2-0. Matip's look good at the back, but Huddersfield haven't had much of the ball to even do any damage anyway. So that first half start was exactly what we needed to get going. Coming off that tough loss to Man City. We need to finish this one strong though. So that we can do the same thing to Orebo in the Champions League group stage. Down the wing to Mane and now Salah. Salah is going to play it back to Shakiri. Shakiri goes at his right. And didn't go with much power to try to place it and beat him. And unfortunately could not. But it was a quick start out of the second half. Almost sending Liverpool ahead 3-0. So Shakiri defending. Played into Williams now. Fabino trying to make an interception midfield. And now a lot of space for low down the wing. But only because he was off sides. Played forward to Salah. Salah plays it now to Firmino. Back to Salah on that left. And he has skied that one over. And they'll play it forward here. And another, and another audacious attempt. And this one almost finding an incredible area in the back of the net. Out of the way by Joe Gomez. Hogue has it. Trying to play forward. Huddersfield looking for a miracle now. Smith on it. Sending it forward. Save Allison Becker. He's going to boot this one away. And that is the final whistle, ladies and gentlemen. Liverpool with a commanding and dominating 2-0 win at Huddersfield. Not that we expected much of an opposition, but this was needed. This domination was needed against this team coming off that tough loss against Manchester City. This was big. And now we're all set up to play a Rebo in Cardiff to finish off the episode in the month of October. It was very much necessary to take care of them healthily as we get our training underway. And once again, Roberto Hernandez, my lord. Up to a 67. He's going to come out of the Youth Academy like a 70 plus. Wow. Ahead on goal differential in this Champions League group stage. And I think um, we're definitely going to run a little bit of a different team against the Rebo. Not a stronger side. Obviously, we can't cop this one up. But I think we're going to be pretty comfortable at home. Um, so I'll run a little bit of a weaker side in this one. So like I said, definitely going to be a little bit of a weaker side in this one. We're still going to let Salah play. He's just on fire. Roberto Firmino is still going to hop in there. Sturge going to get a start up front with Mohamed Salah. Firmino is going to sit behind as usual. The back line is pretty much going to stay the same. We're going to let Matip and Van Dijk do their thing. Um, Reyno is going to get a start at left back. The midfield is pretty much all totally different. With Henderson, Wijnaldum, and Oxide chamberlain getting in there. And actually, let me just adjust one more thing. Simone Mignole is going to grab a start in net. And Rion Brewster and Origi definitely going to make an appearance. And this one is all... You know, all things being said, if everything goes as well as I plan on it going. So, without further ado, let's get into this one. Akarebo? Akarebo? I don't... I, I, it's it's not... I know it's, it's it's Turkish, and, I, and I'm pronouncing it like it's like Spanish. It's foreign. That's it. We know it's foreign. <laughs> Definitely a rotated Liverpool side, as we're going to need... Some, we want to have some guys ready for Cardiff as well, too. But, I can't say it's that much weaker... As we'll get off the early start here. Henderson plays at the wide now. Them now to Salah. Now on to Alexander Arnold. He'll play it across, and it's an early start. Daniel Sturridge, two minutes in. Two minutes in, and Danny Sturridge. I got enough room to do it. Maybe I do. I definitely don't. Never have enough room to do it. And the controller's hitting the deck, too. My goodness. No matter what way you look at it, no matter what way I celebrate, we're up 1 0. Henderson plays it to Wijnaldum. And now a long ball to Moreno. Moreno is going to try and play it into Salah. It's knocked away from a diving defensive effort. Maybe even of the season. 
And Salah's pass intercepted, but it falls to Wijnaldum, who's taking the shot on, and it's gone wide. Now Gerzic. Rodgers plays it back to Zerzic at the top of the box. Granlin in. Proto with the header! I believe Mignolet got a hand to it. Ever so slightly, Simone Mignolet comes up with a big save. The cross from the corner sent in. Knocked away. Up and head of the way by OSK. Oxlade Chamberlain takes it on now. He sent the cross in in front to Sturridge. It falls to Wijnaldum. Now up front, Oxlade Chamberlain. Firmino takes it on an awkward angle, kind of falling off in the shot from the top of the box. And it's an easy save for Johnson. Wijnaldum sending it forward to Firmino in a sliding effort to try and beat the goalie, but a swing and a miss. And a very good chance for Oma. Oma's forward, Oma's forward, and it's a huge save from Simone Mignolet, the backup goalkeeper for Liverpool. Martinson on it now. Gerzic. Moreno with a powerful header away. So three minutes in extra time. Two was given. This will be the last opportunity for Liverpool to get ahead by two goals. It's hit in front. It's knocked away. Out of play. And Liverpool go to halftime. Up 1-0. So we're off in the second half. Akarebo. Ak Rebo. I'm definitely going to have to look up how that's pronounced for the next episode because I, I can't keep going and calling it like it's Spanish. Like, or it's, like I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. I know it's not the, It's not how it's pronounced. How it's said. Gerzic set to send it in. He's crossed it in to Proto. Gets a header off and Mignolet makes a huge save. Now to Firmino. Firmino is going to send it to Moreno. Oh, it's in front to Sala who blasts it home. Mohamed Salah bangs one into the back of the net and his absolutely impeccable form continues. What a great cross that is from Reno. A great touch. And then Mohamed Salah doing what he does best and that's putting it in the back of the net. And we take a 2-0 lead here early into the second half. Now it's Wijnaldum. Now it's Firmino. Firmino to find Moreno. Moreno sends it across, looking for Salah. Now it falls back to the other side to Alexander-Arnold, who sends it across of his own. Falls in front, Wijnaldum gets a touch, but can't get off a shot. Orgy and Brewster will come on here late. I think it's pretty safe to say we got this one wrapped up. The defense has played very well. Now it's to Wijnaldum, now it's to Henderson. Henderson takes it on with his left, and it's off the post, and it actually takes a redirect off the goalie the second time around. Now I went all them back up to Moreno. He's going to play to Oxlade Chamberlain. Oxlade Chamberlain takes it on. Forward to Brewster now. Brewster will play it back to Orgy. Orgy with a wonderful fake shot. He tries to get it on. And Brewster tries to catch a piece of it as it's popped up in the air. And a minute and change in a couple in seconds left on the clock now for extra time as Oxlade Chamberlain sends it in to Van Dyke in the front. It'll fall to Brewster. Now Moreno on it. Moreno takes it on his left. And, oh, what an effort at the final whistle by Alberto Moreno. But Liverpool, regardless, you'll never walk alone. A 2-0 victory in the Champions League group stage. So hopefully spirits aren't too high in this one. We're going to have a couple guys we need to rest. But pretty much going to be the same team. We may not see Firmino in this one. Or I might start Firmino. Most likely not going to finish it. So the team is set. Joe Gomez comes on to play right back to give some rest to Trent Alexander-Arnold. Joel Matip gets another start at center back. We have Lovren off the bench ready to go for either him or Van Dyke as the game progresses on. Fabino can also drop having been rested against uh, Ocarebo in that Champions League match. And we'll have someone to come in and fill in for Firmino as well. We can probably move Keita up, Wijnaldum, whoever it may be. But we're pretty much set on depth. But uh, a big home game here uh, against Cardiff City. Mo Salah. Top scorer in the Premier League. And we're looking to continue to get after it here at Anfield once again. Got to continue to take advantage of these home matches. So Salah kicks it off for Liverpool. And here we go. Keita's going to play it forward to Mane with a great ball over the top. Mane cutting it in. Cutting it away from the defense. On the Keita now. Not a Fabino. Fabino is going to take it on from distance, and what an attempt it was as Etheridge had to make a great save. Cardiff still hanging on. Harry Arter on it. Fabino trying to knock it away. Camarsa has some space. Arter in front, and it's found the back of the net. 
and an own goal off of who? Niase causing the problem, but who knocked it in was most likely going to end up wide. I believe it's going to be Allison on the own goal, and it is unable to maybe heading wide prior to the attempted save. Regardless, Cardiff with a shock 1-0 advantage here early. Archer now on it as it's played the rolls. Back to Archer. Niasse. Niasse hanging on as it swung a hoilet on the wing now. But then Gomez able to knock it away with a risky, risky tackle. Mane sends it across. Back post looking for Shakiri. It's in a fall to Fabino. Keita back to Fabino. Fabino takes it on his right and it's deflected and out for a corner now. Fabino really feeling it on that powerful right leg of his. And it ends in an own goal and a terrible pass there from Nabi Keita, but then knocked away. But the deflection falls to Niase. Niase forward now, trying to make it two, and it and a penalty's been given. Joel Matzip with the late tackle as he misses off the post. It's going to be a penalty and most likely a red. And it is. It's a red card to Joel Matzip. And absolute shambles, absolute shambles early for Liverpool as Niase steps back. Ready right, to take this one on. And he goes right down the middle, and it's 2-0 at Anfield. Cardiff lead. So if they can at least grab one goal here, maybe they have a shot in doing so. But it is going to be almost impossible for Liverpool to work out now. Mane's finding Robertson in space. Oh, put in the middle, and Mane! What play from Robertson, and they bounce back. Pulling back within one. What great play from Robertson to find Sadio Mane. And I'm just going to have to, after that goal, I'm going to have to adjust the back line. I think what we're going to do is, is we're going to drop we're gonna drop Fabino to that center back spot. We're just going to leave that spot kind of empty. I may even drop from, I think I'm going to drop Firmino to this CM spot. We're just going to leave that center of the field empty and just let Keita and Firmino kind of pivot into that spot. Mane's fifth Premier League goal. It's def we definitely have our word cut out for us here. It's going to be tough to win this one. Gomez slowing it down. The center back, right back, hybrid. Keita now plays in the Mane. Robertson again down the side. Robertson tries to go back post to Roberto Firmino, but with no luck. Brawls on it now. Slow play, final, not final, but halftime whistle. And an absolute disaster early for us. Uh, the red card for Matip, as well as he's played and as well as I've praised him recently, comes right out, gets the red card against Cardiff. And we're down 2-1. So we're going to try and at least get the draw here with 10 men. Definitely, definitely going to be difficult. So Cardiff set to start off the second half of the ball. Liverpool going to try and get it done with 10 men. On the wing to Mane. Set forward to Salah with a great ball. Oh, and Salah trying to fake shot, and he's tackled down by Manga. My goodness, Manga getting a yellow, and a penalty has been given. Mohamed Salah is set to step up and take it with the chance to equalize. My goodness. I need this. I need this big time. So Salah steps back. Stutters, steps back, Gatesburg goes left, keeper stays planted in the middle like a statue. And the man, Mo Salah, the Egyptian king, ladies and gentlemen, makes it 2-2. We're down 10 men against Cardiff at home, went down 2-0, but we're trying our hardest to make it back into this one. And we're right where we need to be. A quick goal in the second half. We have a chance. Already 11 Premier League goals from Osala. It's been an absolute insane start to the season for him. Up the wing of Mane. Mane now plays the Robertson. He's had such a fine day so far. Robertson with great pace. Robertson with great pace. It falls back to the middle, but it takes a deflection to Shakiri, not a Henderson. Henderson's going to rip a shot, and what a shot it was. Kiri trying to get it off. Now Keita. Henderson, top of the box. Gonna take the shot and he skied it over. Now Salah is gonna find Mane down the wing. Sadio Mane with plenty of space. Mane sends in a low cross and almost an own goal from Cardiff City. It almost deflected off a defender. 
And now it's going to fall back to Etheridge. And almost disaster for Cardiff City. Nyase with an opportunity. Kind of whiffed on. Sent out wide to Gomez. Now forward to Henderson. And intercepted. And that is the final whistle. So a draw. Not what we needed at all against the weaker side in Cardiff at home. But the red card early. We were down 2-0. And down a man. The fact that we were able to claw back in that. Even have a chance to win is outstanding. So I'll take the draw. But the early exit from Matip certainly hurts. And can you believe this? Manchester United, I believe, losing their last match. Yeah, they had to have. So we go ahead on goal differential. The draw puts us top of the table. So that that penalty kick from Salah is huge. I mean, a win would have been great to put us like points clear. But even on goal differential, I'm ecstatic about that. Can't complain. So it clawing and fighting that game against Cardiff at home turns out to be a huge advantage as we go top the table over Manchester United on goal differential. The young Kiana Hover, I believe only 16 years old, can grow it up to like 85 potential. I'll have to check that on Sofifa, but we're training him up. He's going to be a stud as well, but it's hard to be behind Alexander Arnold who's not even 20 yet as well. So obviously Matt Tip's going to pick up the suspension. We're going to take a peek at the calendar because that is the end of the month of October for us. That'll be the end of this episode. So we'll see what we're up against in November. We'll start off with a Saturday game against Arsenal away. It'll be the away match against Akrebo. Akrebo? Akrebo. Akrebo. I'm going to find a way. I'm going to find out how to pronounce that. Um, we'll then travel to play Fulham, uh, or play Fulham at home on the Monday. And then we will have some serious time off and play Watford away. And then it'll be PSG in Paris, in France for a huge one. And that'll set us through the month of November. Five games in November. And if we take a peek at the top score, that's Mo Salah by Miles. Sadio Mane also creeping up there as well. And we'll take a look at the Champions League group stage as well. So the Champions League group stage, we set a top by one point. So that's why it'll be an absolutely monumental match against Paris Saint-Germain in Paris. You win that one, I'm pretty sure we can take the table with ease and get that top seed and hope to have some luck in that first draw all the time i have for you guys in this one be sure to follow me on twitter at rufus rundown uh instagram at rufus rundown like the facebook page uh the rufus rundown uh the podcast now available on apple yes itunes it's available on itunes stitcher and spotify the rufus rundown i've had a blast guys but it's more rufus signing off